Hey guys, welcome back to Gunny TV. Today we're shooting one of the first AR-15s here on the channel, I guess. I can't recall shooting an AR on this channel before. I don't know why I didn't, but maybe it's because I am not the greatest fan of ARs. I can't say I'm a Brandon Herrera and I love AKs, but I like him. But maybe it's just because of one thing and one thing only, if you can hear that, that's the thunderstorm behind us. Mark, maybe you can film over. Show the people what's going on back there. So that's why we're going over this review really quick. This is a PSA lower Palmetto State Armory and I'm about to buy my first Palmetto State Armory, hopefully by this year. We did a review about it and hopefully that is out already. It's the PSA Jackal. I'm a really big fan of that. Mark put a lot of stuff on here. He has a compensator up here. It's a sight mark. SP2, right? Uh, laser um, mark, uh, so SMR laser hat. light combo. Uh, yeah, so laser and light combo, which is not bad. That's cool. EOTAC, he spent a lot of money and put a real EOTAC on here. And also what's really cool here, a flash hider, which is handmade from Germany. That's cool, man. Yeah, 3D printer made it possible. That's a pistol brace stock on here. This is a pistol. It's not a rifle. It's an AR pistol. That's important. And that little grip up here, I love I love this. Like these are my favorite grips ever. Why? Because it gives you the perfect uh, control about the gun and I have small baby hands. That's why I need to get I need to come around the rifle and still be able to control it because like with big hand guards and stuff on that I can't even get my hand around it I don't like that so this is really nice and the EOTAC is really bright and good to see even though we have the flash hider on it so yeah anything special um, you said there's again I always do that that's why I don't like ARs why because it's that system back here I think I slapped it too hard that's what you can do with slamming it on the ground, I don't really like the charging handles because it's so it's such a weird way to do it. I'm used to G36, which has it in the middle. Don't really like that either. I like to have that thing up here where I have my hand the whole time. Reload that instead of doing that and I don't know. Maybe I'm just a bitch. You tell. So let's go over that thing. Let's shoot a little before we get wet. Yes. Let's go. We shoot the first magazine out of fixed position. No, it's fine. Yeah, it should be fine. <laughs> yeah, it's 25. Let's go back a little. We don't want to get ricochets. Because like steel does not forgive. And there starts the rain. Let's go. We don't have a lot of time to shoot. It feels nice. I love that gun. Even though it's an IR, but hey, it feels great. Let's go over this thing again and um, let's try to walk. Next thing we do is running and see how it feels. Dirty. Dirty as fuck. All 
All right, guys, she either is super dirty or I broke something again. So hopefully Mark isn't pissed with me. <laughs> but it looks like it's just super dirty. Up. Yeah, weather is going crazy out here. Several days later. So guys, we're back. Another day, better weather. And that was the problem we had. The issue that stopped this machine from working. There was one, uh, one bullet that was under pressured, which why it was stuck and it took us a while to find out. And Mark here even got injured by ramming that thing out of the barrel and that funny stick just went through the handle and poked his his wrist so yeah all for the channel that's the little motherfucker we had in there here you can have it Ew. okay now we're gonna shoot a little more just to demonstrate the pure joy of this rifle Yeah, the EOTEC makes it really easy to shoot. So, um, we talked about the flash hider before. It really works well. Mark said that these are prototypes and sometimes they're in the way, but um, this one is not, so it really works well. Yeah, um, what else can we shoot? <laughs> I don't know, so much shooting. Alright guys, thank you so much for tuning in, it was a lot of uh, fun to shoot this rifle. If you're interested in building an AR like this, let me know, uh, I will ask Mark how he did it and you can have all his instructions for that. So see you next time.